What's up guys, my name is Fredan Amjad and in this video we will create this beautiful logo flip animation. So now I have this clip, the first step is we can press alt key on the keyboard, we can drag this clip on top of this track. So we have a copy of this video. Now we can hover this mouse to the position where we want to cut the logo. So I'm gonna cut my logo from this position, I'm gonna select this above track clip, go to the video and in speed chain we can select this freeze. So now we can delete this clip, we have this freeze frame, we can right click, we can create a new compound clip. So I'm going to rename this to freeze. We can go to the fusion page, drag this masking node, we can change this to single screen. We can select this masking node, we can press control key, using the scroll we can zoom in and now we can cut out this logo. So I'm just roughly cutting out this logo, now we are done. Now we have to connect this masking node to the media in, we can select this masking node, we can lower the border width. Now we can select this node, we can press shift to disconnect this node and now I'm going to drag this image plan 3D, we can drag this render 3D, let's connect these together. Now we can change this to dual view, we can select this, we can press 1 on the keyboard and now here we have 3D spacing. Now go to the first frame of this logo, select image plan 3D and if we go to the transform as you can see, we can transform this to 3D rotation X, Y and Z axis. Now we can go to the first frame of this logo, we can add a keyframe in Y and let's go to the 50 frame of this logo, we can rotate this one time like this. Add a keyframe in Z, go to the first frame and we can rotate this one time like this. And now we have this animation. Now we can also select this render 3D, we can go to the settings and we can also add a motion blur. So when it rotate, we have a motion blur. So now as you can see, if I disable this, we don't have a motion blur. And now if I enable this, we have this motion blur. We can increase shutter angle, we can increase the quality. And now check this out. Now go back to edit page. And in first frame, I'm going to enable this transform control. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to rotate this logo. So it aligns with the original clip. Now let's place this right here. Now go to the first frame of this freeze frame. Now I'm going to add a keyframe in zoom. Now to this position, I'm going to zoom in. And now from the last position to this position, I'm going to zoom out this logo. I'm going to add a keyframe in position. Let's change the position, add a keyframe in rotation. Let's also change the rotation as well. Let's align these together and now go to the first frame. We can also change the rotation and we can play this on top of this logo. Now we are done from this position. So I'm going to trim this freeze frame. I'm going to select this blade tool. I'm going to cut this video. Now select this, we can select this clip, disable this, we can go to the color page. Now we are here in the color page. Now the first step is I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to select this layer, go to the mask, I'm going to select this mask. And now I'm going to lower the size, increase the softness. And now I'm going to track this logo. Now we are done. Now we can go to the effects and we can drag this directional blur. We can lower the directional blur strength, add a keyframe. Go to this frame, we can increase the strength. And now we can lower the strength. So now we have this effect. We can also select this keyframe, we can change the position. Now we can go to the edit page and now if I enable this. Now the final step is we can select this freeze frame, go to the open FX, we can search for edge detect. We can select this, go to the effects, change this to grayscale, enable edge mask overlay and we can lower the brightness. Now we can add a keyframe in brightness. We can increase the brightness and now we can lower the brightness from this position. Now after do some color grading and color correction, here we have the final result. 